Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. Uh, and that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, so this is uh, 25 Ruthven Street in Dorchester. So it's a little bit complicated, but uh, we'll get into it, okay? So uh, this property is on the corner of Ruthven Street and Harold Street. Uh, there's some, uh, I guess, down this part of Ruthven Street, you see a bunch of multifamilies. You see some brick properties uh, down this part of Ruthven Street, and right across is a big multifamily here on uh, Harold Street, okay? So uh, let's go take a look at the uh, property. Okay, so here's the story. So this was legally, uh, this was uh, built as a one-family property many, many years ago. And, uh, and you can see that it was at one time a beautiful property, okay? But as a lot of things in Dorchester, uh, as a lot of things happen in Dorchester, things get uh, crappy, all right? And that's what happened here. It's a corner lot, 7,400 square feet, a little bit bigger than 7,400 square feet. The zoning is uh, 3F4000, okay? So with that zoning, you can build a two-family property on a 4,000 square foot lot. So a, a, a two-family property on a 4,000 square foot lot, and for every additional 2,000 square feet, you can put another unit on it. So with this being 7,400 square feet, um, you can put a... Uh, a three unit building on this without a doubt so alright so you've seen other uh, maybe you've seen other videos that I've, that I've made and you uh, know how I feel about some of these properties and how sad it is when I walk into these properties and this is another one of those properties that was probably uh, just a gorgeous property when it was uh, when it was first built okay so um, so anyway this is now legally a two-family property just to give you a heads up okay they cut it up and you'll see that as we go through so we're at the uh, we're at the um, front right of the property, I guess. If you're on uh, Ruth Venn Street, and this is probably one of the living rooms. Beautiful mantel, beautiful uh, fireplace, ca uh, closet here as well. Okay, uh, you know, there's two options with this. Probably, actually, we'll go into the kitchen first. So the kitchen is in the back right right part of the property here. There are a few options, uh, you know, it's 180000 is the list price right now. Uh, you know, you can bulldoze this and put up uh, three units, which, not, which is probably not a bad idea. All right, so off of the kitchen here is a full bath, all right? So, you know, it's tough. That's from the 70s. So that's the basement. We'll go down there in a little bit. All right, but you can just see it was at some point a gorgeous, gorgeous place. So we're going to walk through the kitchen here. This is a good, good morning staircase, which we'll go take a look at, which will come down later. Uh, this is just the front hallway here. Okay, so we're at the rear of the uh, rear left of the property. I don't know what this would have probably been. Could have been a bedroom at some point, or you know who knows. Okay, so. Let's, uh, well, okay, so here we are. We're in the hallway again, and this is just a, an old closet here, okay? Uh, this is a little Eve underneath the stairs. I don't know why I'm showing you that, <laughs> but why not? And here's, uh, oh, you know what that was? Ah, oh, yeah. That was uh, the double parlor. This was actually probably the living room. Look at that beautiful mantle. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. It's got most of its tiles. I, I know I should be showing you all this stuff because, you know, and overall it doesn't matter. But look at all those beautiful tiles. But anyway, got pocket doors. So this is probably the double living room. That other room that I just showed you before this is the other side of that double living room. All right. So, and then the, the, the first room that I showed you, which is right here, this is probably the dining room is now what I'm guessing is the dining room because it's right off the kitchen. So, all right, good stuff. So let's go upstairs. And let's go take a look at this uh, second floor here. We've got to go upstairs to the, uh, this is the front of the property. Uh, just probably a little sitting room here, I'm sure. Uh, this is uh, the front left of the property. Here's one bedroom here. 
It's got a walk-through, uh, well, actually, there's no closet. Well, actually, I guess that's the closet. So there's uh, a bedroom over there. Uh, well, let's go through, closet, through the closet. So, you know, you just get some built-ins here. So uh, here's your old gas, you know, your old gas hookup. All right, there's your closet for this bedroom. All right, so this is the rear left of the property. And now we're up in the, we're going to the hallway. So let's go to the right rear, and this is the top of that good morning staircase. Uh, let's go, beautiful, I love this color, these colors are awesome. Um, so this is uh, the right rear of the property, okay? So let's quickly go take a look at this bedroom here on this second floor. This is the front right of the property. Beautiful mantle in here. Closet over there. Predatory lending by the bank led, us, led to us being homeless. That is sad. All right, so let's go up to the third floor. Steep uh, staircase here. Now this is where they had their second apartment and actually it is uh, legally a two family, all right? So this was probably, you know, when this was built, it was probably the maid's quarters or something like that. So uh, a little bedroom, well, it doesn't have a closet. Here's your kitchen, your kitchenette, beautiful. Well, you know, it needs, it needs uh, all need to be, it all needs to be redone here. Okay, here's your bathroom up here, all right, from the 70s, early 80s. Property was winterized on December 6th. A little too late, fellas. A little too late, probably all frozen up. A uh, little closet in here, a little living area up here, and we're going to head back down. Sorry for panning everywhere so quickly, I'm just trying to get this done quicker because... We're already at over seven minutes here. So, we're gonna head down to the basement real quick. And we're gonna go take a look at, uh, where's the basement? Oh, that's right, it's off the kitchen. All right. So let's go take a look down here. All right, heating system, forced hot air. It's a uh, fieldstone foundation with a little brick on top. That was sort of, uh, I think that was the status symbol back then. You know, you wanted to show the brick above the, uh, you know, above the uh, ground so people wouldn't think you were cheap and by using the field stone. So, <laughs> pretty funny stuff. Bathroom with a shower, probably put in in the four, 50s or 60s. Old sink here. Uh, let's see, we have no home due to the heartless Deutsche Bank. Well, that's not quite a great ad for Deutsche Bank. We are homeless because Deutsche Bank refused to renegotiate our predatory loan. Well, what are you going to do, you know? So, all right, so you got your oil tank here all rusted out. You know, it's, a, it's an older property. Here's your electrical system, which... Uh, which uh, was updated at some point. Here's your water tank. All right. Some sort of a closet they had down here. Here's your uh, gas meter. Do I see the water main? Do I see the water main? I don't know. There's the, the front of your heating system. Okay. But that, listen, this house might be even a teardown. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen here. Yep, there's your water. There's no meter on it right now, but that's your water connection all right let's get out of here there are some lots next door that abut this property that are owned by the city of boston and if the buyer of this property uh actually let's go out the back door if the buyer of this property you know decides to buy this then uh crap i'm locked in uh then they might be able to get that lot so i'm gonna finish this up this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.